because of why I search the deep through endless nights, no time to sleep. The call inside, I can't deny. I'll find the light because of why. Hey everyone, welcome. Today we are diving headfirst into one of the most talked about, most mysterious places on Earth the Bermuda Triangle. You know the name. It's a place that for decades has been synonymous with strange disappearances and things that just can't be explained. I mean, we've all heard the stories, right? Giant ships found floating with no one on board. Airplanes that seem to just vanish from radar in the middle of a clear blue sky. It's a place where compasses supposedly spin out of control and the very laws of physics just take a vacation. It's the stuff of legends, really. So what is really going on in this infamous patch of the Atlantic? Is it some paranormal hotspot? A bizarre scientific anomaly? Or is the truth something, well, a lot more down to earth? In this explainer, we're gonna pull back the curtain and separate the hard facts from the wild fiction. So how did this all start? I mean, a legend this big doesn't just pop up overnight. It was built, piece by piece, over a long, long time, fueled by strange events and, you guessed it, some very sensational stories. First things first, let's get our bearings. The Bermuda Triangle isn't an official name you'll find on any world map. It's this huge, loosely defined area of ocean between Florida, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico. And here's the key. This is not some empty, forgotten corner of the sea. It's one of the most heavily trafficked shipping lanes and flight paths in the entire world. Remember that. It's going to be important later. The seats of the myth go way back, even to Christopher Columbus, who wrote about his compass acting weird and seeing strange lights. Then you fast forward. 1918, the USS Cyclops, a giant Navy vessel, vanishes with over 300 people. But the event that really lit the fuse was Flight 19 in 1945, when five Navy bombers disappeared. The story got its catchy name in 1963, and then bam, Charles Berlitz's book in 1974 made the Bermuda Triangle an absolute global sensation. And you know, when a legend gets that big, the theories are bound to get, well, a little wild. This is where we leave the docks and sail straight into the realm of science fiction. Oh yeah, people have come up with just about everything to explain the disappearances. We're talking alien abductions, a time vortex that just gobbles up ships and planes, energy crystals from the lost city of Atlantis, and even a literal gateway to another dimension. It's an incredible mix of creative, out-there ideas. Okay, so let's put the aliens and Atlantis aside for a minute. What does science have to say about all this? Are there any real, natural explanations for what might be happening out there? One of the most famous scientific theories you'll hear is about methane gas. The idea is pretty wild. Giant bubbles of methane gas could suddenly erupt from the seafloor. This would make the water above it super frothy and way less dense, so much so that a ship floating on top would instantly lose its buoyancy and just sink straight to the bottom in seconds. It's a pretty compelling image, right? But here's the catch. The science doesn't really back it up. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, while these gas blowouts are a real thing, there's zero evidence of a major one happening in this specific area for the last, oh, 15,000 years. So that theory is probably sunk. And this is how the legend really grew, by conveniently leaving out the boring details. Let's go back to Flight 19, the poster child for the mystery. The myth says they vanished in beautiful, clear weather. The reality? The weather was getting nasty, with huge waves. The experienced pilot? Well, he actually had a history of getting lost. And that rescue plane that disappeared? It was a model known for being so volatile it was nicknamed the flying gas tank, and witnesses actually saw it explode. Okay, so what about those crazy compass readings? This boils down to a pretty basic navigational fact called magnetic declination. Put simply, your compass needle points to the magnetic North Pole, not the true geographic North Pole. That difference, that angle, changes all over the world. Experienced sailors and pilots have always known this and how to correct for it. No mystery there. Now, this does not mean the area isn't dangerous. It absolutely is, but for totally natural scientific reasons. It's located right in Hurricane Alley. 
It's known for generating rogue waves. These are sudden 100-foot walls of water. And it's home to the Gulf Stream, a massive, fast-moving current that can whip up brutal weather in minutes and scatter wreckage for miles. Top it all off with some of the deepest underwater trenches on the planet, and you have a perfect recipe for making things vanish forever. So, with all these very real dangers, the Triangle must be the single most treacherous place on Earth for ships and planes, right? I mean, it has to be. Well, what happens when we actually look at the statistics? The legend says that more than 70 ships and airplanes have been lost in the Triangle over the last century. And yeah, that sounds like a huge number. It's definitely the kind of figure that makes for a great headline. But here's the twist. Scientists like Carl Krusilinicki have actually done the math. And what they found is that when you look at it on a percentage basis, comparing the number of disappearances to the amount of traffic, it's not unusual at all. And this is exactly why that raw number is so misleading. The number of incidents seems high simply because the volume of traffic is incredibly high. Once you adjust for that, the actual accident rate is pretty much normal. It's no more dangerous than any other heavily traveled part of the ocean. And if you want the ultimate proof, just follow the money. The people at Lloyd's of London, the ones who insure these massive ships, are experts at calculating risk. If the Bermuda Triangle were actually a uniquely dangerous place, they would charge way more for insurance to go through it. They don't. To them, it's just business as usual. So that kind of leads us to a whole different question, doesn't it? If there's no real scientific anomaly, the real mystery isn't about disappearing planes. The real mystery is about us. Why do we love this story so much? Why has this myth held on for so long? And that's really the final thought I want to leave you with. Even with all of the science and the logical explanations, the legend of the Bermuda Triangle is still here. Maybe it's because deep down, we just love the idea that there are still some corners of our world that are wild, unexplained, and mysterious. What do you think? Let us know your thoughts on that. And tell us, what other myths and mysteries should we try to unravel next? Drop your ideas in the comments below. And hey, if you had fun diving into this with us, do us a favor and hit that like button, share it with a friend, and subscribe for more explainers just like this one. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, never stop asking questions. Stay curious.